Yo guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to downgrade your iPad 2 or iPhone 4S back to iOS 6. It runs super smooth and you can use it as a collector's item, so it's super cool. So, the main reason you want to upgrade is because devices like the iPhone 4S and iPad 2 are extremely slow on iOS 9. Like, seriously, they're like so slow. Like, watch, watch this camera. That took way too long, because imagine if you wanted to take a picture and it lagged for too long and you missed your shot. You don't want that to happen. And also, it makes a better collector's item anyway, because most people aren't using iPhone 4S's or iPad 2's. Plus, it's really cool to get to see your old devices running that old software again, and I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So guys, we are now on the computer. And the first thing you guys are going to want to do is you're, wanna, you're going to want to go straight to Safari, which is what I'm doing now. Um, and now in Safari, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to ipsw.me. You're going to search that and wait for it to load here. Okay, it's loaded. And you're going to go to, if you have an iPhone for us, you're going to go here and pick iPhone 4S. You can see it right here. And um, if you pick a iPad, you're gonna go to iPad and it's gonna be right here, iPad 2. Um, okay, so here we go, iPhone, iPhone 4S. And you can see that Apple is signing iOS 6. So we can go ahead and download this. And this will take a little bit depending on your internet connection. Uh, mine's pretty good, um, but this computer is old and slow, so it, it's going to make it a lot slower than it seems. So I will be back in a minute, guys. So after you guys are done trusting the stuff that you have to do on your iPhone and computer, Next, um, next up, you should in iTunes. You should see a screen that looks sort of like this. It should actually look exactly like this. And um, so we're just gonna straight up downgrade this. It's really easy. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold Option down on your keyboard, keep it held down, and then press on Restore iPhone. This will pop up with a list of files that you can use, and you're just going to drag in, drop, the file that we downloaded, the IPSW file. And then you're going to press open, and then you're going to press restore. And this will downgrade the iPhone for us, or iPad 2. And I will be back when this is nearly done. See you then, guys. So guys, this is what it should look like after it's done. Your device will reboot, and I will now go to the device. So guys, it is now running iOS 6.1.3. It just got done booting, and now I am going to set it up with you guys. So guys, we are setting it up, and here goes the swipe. Good old noise. We're going to go with English. United States just connected the Wi-Fi and location services no yes I don't I don't care I like that blue bubble looking thing set up iPhone as a new phone Apple ID we're gonna skip that yes we are skipping and we are going to agree because I've totally read that and uh, yeah why not I'd be fine with using old Siri. Uh, I, it doesn't matter. I don't even care. You are now ready to start using the most advanced iOS ever. Okay, let's call it that. Start using iPhone. <laughs> Look at that beauty. See how good that looks? It's going to work so fast, too. Let me go to the camera. Okay, that... that totally was way too slow okay I wasn't expecting that 
Um, but it is going to generally work faster around the whole operating system. Apps are going to open faster to like the settings. Like things are just going to work. They're going to flow. Everything's going to, it's just going to work. Like everything is, it's just going to work. Like notes. I remember back when they had these notes and it looked like handwriting. Now the notes they have are so boring. And there's that note on iOS 6. And the app switcher is even different. The phone is different. And um, yeah, everything's generally a lot better on this operating system with this phone just because of how slow it truly is on iOS 9. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't before because you're going to get to see more cool stuff just like this. You should go check out some of my other stuff where I did like a cool booter video where you can dual boot operating systems on a phone. And it's any 32-bit device. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any cool content. And I will see you guys in the next vid. Peace.